Well, this spring break, you might be looking to get out and learn something new. Maybe that includes taking a trip to the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum in Weston. Well, this morning, Eyewitness News reporter Allison Scott joins us live from the asylum with some details on what you can see and do there. Hi, Allison. Hey, good morning, Dave and Lauren. Right now, we are in Lily's room, and a lot of people say that they have gotten Lily to actually play with them. Now, I'm here with Rebecca Jordan Gleason. So far, we have not been successful in that, but you're seeing that so many people are coming here for these tours, but also coming away with some stories. Oh, absolutely. Um, a long time ago, we started our nighttime paranormal tours and had no idea how much paranormal activity actually happened during the day. So now we've actually started daytime paranormal tours as well, and folks will come in here um, through throughout the course of the day and night and have some different type of experiences here. And what do you think, I mean, you were saying that so many different areas, you know, this is kind of more, seems a little bit calming or at least, you know, nicer feeling than some other wards. Um, well, Ward 4 originally, well, this entire side of the building was for the male patients. Um, it, that wasn't true before the entire building was built, however. So at one point, this was male and female areas here. Um, in particular, this would have been basically the second notch of uh, patients. They would have been not terribly behaved, but weren't the best, um, basically, face that they wanted to put on the asylum when people would come in the main entrance. So this area would have been used for, for those types of folks. And when people are coming here, what do they take away from this, you know, visiting the asylum? Well, hopefully they take a little bit about um, what it was like to be a patient, what it was like to be a staff member, uh, the evolution of treatments for the mentally ill, and uh, uh, basically just a little bit more educated on what, what happened in our past and how to avoid it in the future. Do you have an age limit of who can come here and visit? Well, we have everybody from Catholic kinder kindergartners to... Uh, 80-year-old Rotary members <laughs> that'll, that'll come and visit. Um, we would not recommend uh, anybody that can't walk. <laughs> it's a lot of walking. <laughs> it is a lot of walking. Uh, we do have a couple of handicapped accessible tours as well, but uh, yeah, I wouldn't bring any, I wouldn't let anybody like crawl around in this place, but um, I, I, 8 to 80, everybody loves this place, and there's a reason for somebody to come, whether it's history, education, uh, mental evolution, uh, ghost hunting, whatever you like, there's something here for everybody. And of course, we do want to tell you a little bit more about how these buildings were built coming up on Eyewitness News in the next half an hour, so stay tuned for that, and we'll keep you updated on what we see and hear throughout the morning. For now here in Weston, Allison Scott, Eyewitness News. Very interesting it place. Is. I've been there many, many times. Yeah. It's really fun. Thanks, right. Allison. Thanks, Allison. And we